After he had dinner with my patriarch last night, Masumi Arakawa left Heian Tower alone. So he must have been shot on his way home. Any idea who did it? I put my money on an Omi loyalist. Pretty sure I'd win that bet, too. Hell, there were shootings in Sotenbori, too. Attempts on Captain Watase and Daigo Dojima. Are they okay? Yeah. Apparently, they had some ex-Tojo legends with them. Can't ask for better bodyguards than that. No kidding. And yeah, that does point to Omi retaliation. Uh-huh. You and your pals should be careful, since you were on the Dissolution's front lines. The Remnants will have a bone to pick with you. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll pass on the advice. Can't believe this shit anymore. The Omi wiped off the face of the earth, all because of the stupid Arakawa family. Idiots blew up their own inheritance. Their betrayal cannot stand, Sawashiro san. Remember how we used to be sister families with the Tojo clan? We had bases in Kanto and everything. Of course, the only reason we helped Arakawa-san push the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho in the first damn place was so our family would survive too. Because we're sick and tired of the Tojo demanding tribute money just to let us keep land we'd already been living on for years. If that had kept up, we would have been crushed, just like any other family without their own territory in Tokyo. That's why we work with Arakawa in spite of it being disloyal to the Tojo. Exactly. And who's going to keep any of the promises Arakawa made? He promised once he was at the top of the Omi Alliance, he would promote us to the main family. Are we just supposed to accept that won't happen now? Listen, you whiners, quit your belly aching. I won't let the Omi Alliance die. We'll just give it a new name. My Kanto Senpai. I know we've caused a real shit show for you, but I promise we'll pay you back in full someday. And for now, all of us are asking your forgiveness. Well, just so you know, it's not like we're asking to cut ties to the Arakawa family. <laughs> you think the score's settled? You backwater scumbags don't deserve to be called Yakuza. Excuse me? You won't repeat that? Sawashiro, you fuck. I can get the Arakawa family back on its feet without you. Easily, in fact. All I have to do is unite the Omi already here in the East. You're way out of line! Arakawa fucked up! 
His captain should be on his knees right now. Stop! What are you doing? You know, guys like you are all bark and no balls when it's wartime. That's the kind of Yakuza I can't fucking stand. Only a few years ago, you were sucking up to the Tojo clan. Then Arakawa changed his colors, and there you were at his feet. Now he's dead, and you think you can pull the senpai card on me? Talk is cheap. The Yakuza way to lead is with bloodshed. The weak always fall in line behind the strong. Help me! Time to accept it. Among the men in this room, you represent the weak, and that goes for all of you! I fully intend to start a new chapter for the Yakuza as the Tokyo Omi Alliance. I hope we can count on your support, Senpai. What makes you think you have any right to pull that shit? You haven't known me very long, but I think I've made a pretty strong case here for what I'm capable of. <laughs> Convince me. I'm not the type of Yakuza who's gonna sit on his hands after his patriarch got removed. What's your point? Right now, I don't know if it was you or some other Kansai punk, but I will gut the man who killed him. You have my word on that. There will be no mercy. The fuck are you saying? Every thug out there on the street knows that you killed your boss under Hauke's orders. Shit. Think that's your phone, man. Chairman. You okay? Yeah, I guess. You don't sound okay. You eating well? Uh, no. Then start. A poor diet won't help with the grief. Meet me at Heian Tower. What for? That's the last place I saw Arakawa-san. I'll treat you to what he ate as his final meal. Uh, thanks, but... Right now, I... Just be there. Fine. I'll be waiting.
Chairman Hoshino wants to meet? Yeah, at Heion Tower. Are you going? Yeah. Maybe he'll tell me about Arakawa-san's last moments. Sachan? Oh, Ichiban. Perfect timing. Listen to this. What's up? Oh, is it about Nanua? Yeah. I worked up the courage to call her and asked if she'd been caught up with any bad guys lately. And how'd that go? Um, well... Not good, huh? Gotta say, I wouldn't have started with the bad guys line. I just couldn't find the right thing to say. Yeah, I know it's hard. But all that matters is getting Nanoha away from that dirt bag. I don't know. We've been apart for so many years, I was probably way out of line to tell her to break up with her boyfriend. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even take my calls if she knew I've been checking up on her this entire time. But at least she still doesn't realize I know about her being employed at a soap land. She can never find out, not ever. I'll pretend not to know for the rest of our lives if I have to. But how do I help her without letting on what I know? If I do nothing, Katsuragawa might bankrupt her and she'll end up right back at the soap land. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm freaking out! Well, I guess I'll just have to use my ace in the hole. Huh? You've had a plan this whole time? I sure do. You introduce Nanoha to a guy who's better than her boyfriend. Then she'll drop that loser like a rock. No way. Her heart is a complete mystery. I mean, we're talking about a woman who fell in love with Katsuragawa. Hear me out. You bring in a shining stud that makes all the other dudes look like ass. I bet he'll catch your eye. Okay, but you're forgetting I don't know any guys like that. Where do I find a stud? Come on. I'm sure he's closer than you think. Where? You're looking at him! <laughs> you think you're the dreamy type, Ichiban? That's even funnier than your hair! <laughs> I wasn't joking. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Whew. If it helps, I definitely feel more cheerful about this now. <laughs> uh, good shit, then. Okay, what else can we do? There has to be something. Well, if you really don't think we can convince Nano how to dump him, I don't know. Mm. <sighs> Wait, we've been looking at this all wrong. We need to get Katsuragawa to stay away from Nanoha, not the other way around. How are you gonna do that? Beat him up and run him out of town? If he were the kind of guy to give up just like that, sure. to your advantage. Yeah, march in and tell Katsuragawa you never want to see him again. I'll stand there and look intimidating while you give him the boot. That'll have him running. I see. That might actually work. Let's do it. All we need is to find out where Katsuragawa's hanging out. Your employees could probably do that, right? No problem. I'll tell the girls to start looking for him right away. Great. We wait for their word, and we move in for the kill. It'll go fine. I'll be right there with you to make sure he doesn't give you trouble. <laughs> it's a date. Good thinking today, Ichiban. I'll go tell the girls to start asking around. <laughs> I 
She and her sister are a handful, and it feels like we're finally gonna wrap this up. Yo, Adachi-san. Hey, Kasaga. Thanks for being there during the settlement the other day. Not a problem. Think of the story we can tell now. You playing a rich guy and me playing your secretary. I thought it suited us perfectly, to tell the truth. Now how about I buy you a meal, hmm? Beef bowl sound good? Hell yeah! Let's go to Akuhushimaru! What should I get? The new special looks good, but there's also the old standby. Come on, when someone's treating you, you gotta go with just a standard beef bowl. Aw oh, man, really? Well, at least let me get a large. Hmm? Huh? Adachi-san, isn't that... Takashi? Hey, Taka- Back down, dumbass! He sees me like this, he's gonna know I'm not rich. Right. Didn't think about that. But not to mention, a rich philanthropist and his secretary eating at a dingy little beef bowl joint looks pretty weird. Let's get out of here before Takashi sees us. What about the beef bowl? Next time. Hey. That's the con man. How's it going? Okay. Even though it was a bust, I still think that guy Yamada is a total sucker. We gotta try again. Okay, come on. Just keep the pen pal thing with him going for now, okay? Uh, okay. Come on. We'll come up with a better plan. One that'll make us really rich. You think the two of them could be working together? Hey! What's going on here, Takashi? Y yamada san What are you guys doing here? Oh, we're getting beef balls, cause we're broke. Now tell us what you're doing here. You're broke? Yeah, that's right. Mr. Yamada Moneybags was fake. I made it all up. I'm just a jobless old fart named Adachi. Huh? Surprise. Adachi-san was just pretending to be a high roller, so Takashi wouldn't feel bad taking his money. And this is your way of showing thanks? By taking everything I've got? Takashi, if I were you, I'd start apologizing. Adachi-san's not the only one getting pissed off right now. We're the ones who need an apology. You've been lying about all this money of yours, and now it turns out you're just some bum. You stay out of this. No, I'm gonna fuck you up now. Messing with us and stirring up a bunch of shit? You got it coming, man. Screw this. Time for me to kick your ass. Let's go out front. I'm in. You're gonna be some. Yeah. Let's go. The enemy is defeated. God damn. I'm so sorry. Do you have any idea what it's been like to be me these past 20 years? Hey, Kosuke! Takashi-kun? I just found this letter in my room. What's this about scraping a bumper? And an out-of-court settlement? I don't remember anything about this. Crap. I can explain. Dude, did you pretend to be me to squeeze some money out of Yamada-san? I'm really, really sorry, man. Hang on a sec, you two. Let's get this cleared up. Yeah, seriously. This letter is the one I sent to Takashi, to set a date for the settlement. And you sent it to Takashi Kasumi, that's me. Are you serious right now? Then, who's this? He's my roommate, Kosuke. There was a time when we were both good students striving to become lawyers. 
then Kosuke gave up on having a real career and started hanging out with some losers. My guess is they pressured him into impersonating me. He's not the type to stand up to people. <laughs> guess he would have made a crap lawyer. Look, all I did was mention that my roommate had some sweet ass deal where rich guy sends him money every month. Hasegawa-san's the one who came up with the scam idea. I'm really sorry. I'd like to apologize as well, Yamada-san. Although, I guess I should just call you Detective Adachi. What? How did you know who I was? I've known for a while. Nobody else would have cared about me enough to support me all this time. But you... You fought for my father's innocence until the very end. You know about that? Yes. Even back then, I knew about it. Well... Then let me say now what I should have said then. I'm sorry I didn't save your dad, Takashi. Please, don't apologize. You've already helped me make sure that nobody else will suffer like my father did. Because... I passed the bar exam. You what? Really? You kicked that exam's ass? I did. They announced the results yesterday. Hot damn! That's great, Takashi! Really, really great! I owe it all to you. All your help over the years really made a difference. Now, well, if you ask me, it was worth every yen. But I don't want to keep leaning on you, so I ask that you let your most recent gift be the last. Sure. You don't got to ask me twice. <laughs> Even though, you know, this time next month, I might be a little sad not to help you. Oh, then just keep sending it. After all, I could argue that you legally obligated yourself to keep doing it once you started. What? It's <laughs> just kidding, that's not real. And I should know. I'm a lawyer. It looks like Takashi couldn't pull the fast one on you, Adachi san. <laughs> yeah, just for a second there. Nice to see a kid achieve something so big. I mean, that's some real leveling up, becoming a lawyer. Yeah, God, Takashi must have worked his ass off. Ah, oh, he's a good kid, all right. Adachi-san, I think your kindness is what taught him to be good. Ah, oh, I don't know. Even without my money, I'm sure he would have made his dreams come true one way or another. That's just the kind of guy he is. You know, he'll be a great lawyer. <laughs> he'll help a lot of people. <laughs> I think you're right about that. Thanks for everything, Kasuga. Come on, don't get all sentimental on me. I mean, it's just that, you know, we've gone through some, some shit together, you know, but in the end, it's, you know, good times. I'm glad we met each other. I really am. What a coincidence. I was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> nice that the feeling's mutual. How about we celebrate Takashi passing the test with a drink? Yeah, to great future lawyers and great former detectives. Cheers! Cheers! You drinking, Namba? Oh, Ichiban. I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. We do? Is it something serious? Look, I need to tell you I'm sorry. For lying. You mean about chasing the counterfeit bill? Yeah. I think you can forgive me. Come on, you know we're past that. What's important is your brother got released. All's well that ends well, right? That said... Maybe now's a good time to tell me if there's any other holes in your story. You really were a nurse at some point, right? Well, of course I was a nurse. How else could I have brought you back from the brink of death? Good point. Then, what about the part where you sold hospital meds? Didn't you say that's how you got your nursing license revoked? Well, that's the short version, but it's more complicated, actually. What do you mean? <sighs> You'll be the first person I've ever told this to, so... I hope you plan on sitting for a while. Ah, <laughs> man. I'm all ears.
Back in elementary school, I read about Florence Nightingale. That's when I knew I was meant to be a nurse. Helping the sick, people being grateful for it, it's all I ever wanted in life. But when I finally put on my scrubs, it was different. Endless late shifts, difficult patients, never a word of thanks. Eventually, I just stopped caring. Little by little, I started cutting corners any way I could. I'd pretend not to hear the intercom and instead, I'd go doze off somewhere. By the time I hit 40, I had no idea why I ever went into the field. But then one day, this new girl named Mizue showed up. And in her introduction, she brought up who else but Nightingale. Just like you, huh? <laughs> we had the same role model, but she still had her spirit. She would rush toward every patient in the ward. Never missed a beat. On top of that, she always had the sweetest smile. So, you had a thing for her. Are you kidding me? She was 23 and a looker. And I was just a middle-aged loser. Come on, man. You know as well as I do, age is only a number. What you need, my friend, is passion. A healthy heart, you know? Huh. <laughs> I'd be more likely to have a heart attack thinking like that. Dude, I'm sure you were crazy passionate about the job back when you got hired. Maybe I was. Still don't see her point. Whenever I saw her working, I could feel my old self coming back. That young version of me, who used to give it his all. Well, that's a good sign. If only I had half her stamina and wasn't twice her age. Anyway, one night I was a little sleepier than usual, so I went out to the back lawn, thinking maybe I could sneak in a nap, and suddenly I heard a noise from behind. I turned around to find the storeroom we keep the medicine in wide open, and Mizue-chan was walking out alone. Was she restocking? I mean, if you were slacking off, she was probably having to bust her ass. Well, that's the thing. In our hospital, only the pharmacists have access to the storeroom. Mizue-chan and I were just nurses. We didn't even need to go in there. Then what was she doing? Well, at the time, there was a rumor floating around the hospital. Uh-oh. Medicine would keep disappearing. The list never matched the inventory. According to the rumors, someone was swiping medicine and selling it. Illegally. No way. And that was Mizue-chan? It was. As my eyes adjusted, I could clearly see her arms were full of medicine boxes. But why would she need to sell medicine? From what I heard, her parents were under a mountain of debt. So, to lighten some of their load, Mizue-chan was paying everything she could. But a single nurse's salary wouldn't get them out of the hole. No way. So she was stealing the meds to do it? Yep. And I was the sole eyewitness. Thing is, Mizue-chan never noticed me there. Now, if it was you, Ichiban, what would you have done? Well, calling her out on it would seem to be the right thing to do. But I guess she wasn't stealing it just to be a criminal, huh? Not in the slightest. She was only doing it for her family. I mean, yeah, she was breaking the law. But she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Plus, getting caught would cost her her job. Then the debt would only have gotten worse. With all that in mind, I'd say it's a pretty tough call to make. Huh. <laughs> now you're on the same page I was. Anyway, in the end, all I could do was watch her walk away without saying a word. If there ever was a criminal who deserved a free pass, it was Mizue-chan. That was what I thought at the time, so I turned a blind eye. And? What happened after that? It wasn't long before Mizue-chan's actions caught up with her. The hospital director decided to get the police involved and started gathering evidence. He waited that long to take action? Well, he was trying to resolve it internally, being that the hospital's reputation was at stake. I guess he got sick of having a thief under his nose, so he escalated it to the next logical step. But if the cops caught Mizue-chan stealing, that'd be bad news. 
She'd have a police record and her name in all the papers. To be honest, it was only a matter of time. She had her whole life ahead of her. How could that happen to someone so young? And on the other hand, you've got me. A guy who totally burned out. A guy who couldn't be further from Florence Nightingale. Better a saint like Mizue-chan stay at the hospital than a sack of shit like me, wouldn't you say? Namba? Are you telling me you... Yeah. I went up and confessed to the whole thing. Stealing, selling, and all. And that's how you lost your nursing license? Yep. No, oh, and I got fired too. Naturally. Man, you went all out for that girl. Did she ever contact you after that? Even a call or a letter? Not that I'm aware. In a matter of hours, I was out of a job and out on the streets. You regret any of it? Well, my brother disappeared not long after. So even if I didn't get canned, I would have quit on my own anyway. So, no, to answer your question. Though I do have to admit, I would like to see Mizue-chan off when she goes overseas. She's going overseas? Yeah. She always dreamed of running off to some developing country where they really need medical professionals. She took that Nightingale shit seriously. Our hospital had an international dispatch program, available to staff nurses with at least three years tenure. This year would be Mizue-chan's third, and I know she would take advantage of it. Well, in that case, why not go say farewell? <sighs> if only I could. For starters, I don't even know when she leaves. Maybe if you ask one of your old nurse buddies, they'll tell you? Don't be ridiculous. I'm the little rat who stole the medicine if you forgot that detail. They want nothing to do with me. Well, hello, boys. Don't worry, the life of the party's here. Care to bring me up to speed? Oh, Sachan. Wait, are you drunk? <laughs> I think you're drunk. Uh, now, fill me in, if you please. Oh, Nama here was going off on one of his hobo horror stories again. Hobo? Horror stories? Well, no house means no toilet, right? Care to guess what he had to do when he had the shits? Yeah, I'd rather not. And here I was, thinking I'd get actual substance out of two grown men instead of literal crap. <sighs> Thanks for covering for me. I got you, man. I don't mind if we let Sayako know at some point, but preferably not when she's plastered. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Chan, when's your birthday? Hmm? Oh, it's April 7th. Oh, yeah? And what's your favorite food? Hey, he's not flirting. I prefer pandas. Wouldn't you rather be a panda? Huh? Well, I, I don't know about that. I mean, that's not really what I'm getting at. Oh, that's too bad. 
Ah, wow, talk about striking out. And a chihuahua? Seriously? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. いらっしゃい。ありがとう。Time to clean up! Yeah. You're gonna get stomped! Yeah. 
You're gonna be in a I'm world. Up. Going in. Yeah. I'm up! You're gonna be in a world of hurt. Let's go! You're in it now! Come on now! 
With finesse. Oh, I get it. Be a waste to just scarf him down, huh? That's what I'm saying! <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the stuff. Mm. What? You done? No, I was just thinking it's kind of a waste to eat something so pretty. 
If anything, we should be putting them on display. Oh, come on, it's an even bigger waste to let them rot on a shelf. True. That's a pretty cruel dilemma. Cruel, but delicious. Delicious. <laughs> 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 This could get rough.
Let's go! 